Functional groups in organic molecules. You should make flashcards or do whatever you need to do to learn Table 2.1 in your textbook. We'll go through the functional groups here. And just a note before we begin, the letter R refers to the remainder of the molecule, usually C and H atoms. We'll start with alkyl halides. This is where your organic molecule contains a terminal halogen molecule, like this, where X is one of the halogens, chlorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Here's an example. This one is 2-chlorobutane. We always number it so that the number of the carbon where the functional group is attached is the lowest possible. Hence, here, we number left to right. And the condensed structure for this would be CH3, that's carbon 1. Carbon 2 is CH put the side chain, the chlorine, in parentheses, then CH2, that's carbon-3, CH3 is carbon-4. An alkene contains a carbon-carbon double bond. So there's your double bond. Um, let's look at an example. This one is called 2-methylpent-2-ene. And let's do the condensed structure. Carbon 1 is a CH3, carbon 2 is a C with a side chain of a CH3 on it, double bonded to another C with an H, that's carbon 3, carbon 4 is a CH2, and carbon 5 is a CH3. An alkyne contains a carbon-carbon triple bond. There is the triple bond. Don't forget there are carbons at each of these points. Here's an example. And this one is called 3-hexine, or you could call it hex-3-ine. And the uh, condensed structure, there's carbon-1, carbon-2, carbon-3, triple bonded to carbon-4, carbon-5 is a CH2, and carbon-6 is a CH3. An alcohol contains a hydroxyl group. And OH is a hydroxyl group. Here's an example. That is cyclohexanol. And we won't bother with the condensed structure. You can't do condensed structures for rings like this. There's its full Lewis structure. Very tiresome to dry out all the hydrogens. An ether contains two R groups, bridged by an oxygen. So there's your bridging oxygen. Um, an example would be 
diethyl ether. The condensed structure. A thiol is the sulfur analog of an alcohol. It contains a sulfhydryl group, an SH. Here's an example. Butane 2 thiol. And the condensed structure. CH3, CH, there's your sulfhydryl group attached to carbon 2, CH2 is carbon 3, CH3 is carbon 4. A sulfide is the sulfur analog of an ether. It contains a bridging sulfur atom. So just as we had diethyl ether, here is diethyl sulfide. And its condensed structure. An aromatic functional group usually contains a benzene ring, although there are other aromatic rings. They usually involve conjugated pi bonds in a ring. There's the benzene ring, an example. is methylbenzene, also known as toluene. A ketone contains a carbonyl carbon within the molecule. So you have R to a carbonyl, C double bond O, to R. An example would be to butanone. One, two, three, four. And its condensed structure would be CH3, C, parentheses O, CH2 is carbon number three, and CH3 is carbon number four. An aldehyde contains a terminal carbonyl. So you've got your R group to your carbonyl to a hydrogen. So our example here is pentanal. And if we wanted to draw the condensed structure, There it is. Carboxylic acids contain a carboxyl group, and a carboxyl group is a carbonyl carbon with a hydroxyl group attached to it. So they look like this. There's your carbonyl with your hydroxyl. And this whole thing is called a carboxyl group. And here's an example. This is acetic acid, the active ingredient in vinegar. Here is its condensed structure, CH3COOH. That COOH is how you do a carboxyl group. 
An acyl halide has a carbonyl attached to a halogen. An example would be acetyl chloride. Here's its condensed structure. An anhydride has two carbonyl groups bridged by an oxygen. Like that, it's like a cross between an ether and a ketone, or an ether with two ketones. An example, acetic anhydride. The condensed structure, CH3, C, parentheses O, O, C, parentheses O, CH3. An ester has one carbonyl group with a bridging oxygen. So there's your carbonyl, your bridging oxygen, and another R group. Here's an example. Isoamyl acetate. This is the compound that gives bananas their characteristic flavor. It's also known as banana oil. Lots of esters are used in artificial fruit flavorings. Incidentally, this compound is also one that is released by bees to signal other bees to come and sting you. The condensed structure would be, there's your carbonyl, there's your bridging oxygen, second to last carbon with two methyl groups on it. An amine contains an amino group which is a nitrogen that has one lone pair and three single bonds. This example is diethylamine. And its condensed structure would look like this. An amide has an amino group adjacent to a carbonyl group. So here's your carbonyl and your amino group. Here's an example. Butanamide. and its condensed structure. So make a series of flashcards to learn these um, functional groups. On the front, name the functional group On the back, put in the important structural elements plus an example.